titled As I Enter, containing 18 smash hits, while his single Brand New Me from that album features one of uh, the best Durban vocalists, uh, Spiwe Khatebe. He goes by the name of La Costa Ration and is uh, setting the Durban hip-hop scene alight with his raw vernacular rap style. The hip-hop star born Tebole Nkosi Minange joins us now to tell us more about his music and his LP. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Hi, okay, morning. Yeah. Okay, how did you come up with this name, though? Um, what inspired it? Uh, basically, it's just, just the name. I mm. thought, okay, let me just have a name which is going to be different. It's going to be easier for everyone to know that only one Lacoste Ration is there because mm -hmm. there's no meaning behind the name. Yeah. They just given to it by a friend and they're going to mix it in them because all Lacoste are being So I just thought, let's add something to it just to make it uh, unique, yeah. sort of, and sound like a hip hop rap. So yeah. what inspired you to get into the hip hop scene? Uh, basically, it was just listening to Amanda Abbey rapper before, like Uzola, Chester, mm -hmm. like your cheapy gangsters, all the the, the classic type of rap. And, and then I thought, okay, let me just start painting my own raps and then I bought beats. The first piece I bought was 17, and so yeah. I bought a beat. <laughs> I got a studio, I went and recorded, and people loved it. So I carried on doing what I was doing. So until now, I'm still doing it, and I'm not going to stop it anytime soon. Okay, talk to us about As I Enter, that LP that you released. Yeah, as I enter mm -hmm. was an LP which I released uh, I think two years back. Mm -hmm. That have been releasing singles from it, and it's going well actually. It's selling online. It's selling by me by hand, and people are loving it everywhere. I go by Tenga and supporting and showing love to the songs and the music videos which I take out and the interviews that I go to. Everyone is appreciating it, and it's and you man and I'm yeah. Uh, <laughs> what do you rap about though? Uh, basically, I rap about the hood. Yeah. But I try to show what there is a good side from the hood. Even though I'm not going to it's all corruption. But there is a good side. I educate people. I rap about the streets. I rap about life. I rap about uh, educating the young youth that's coming. Gen I mean, about life, about life's experiences that I've been through. Is in the sense I in my life. Just to show them that there is a good side from the hood. Why, in your opinion, is the hip-hop industry ready for you? What space do you think you're going to occupy in South African hip-hop that's finally found its identity? There was always a space for me. Mm. There was always a space for me, so I'm just here to occupy it. Yeah. I'm Zosu Samundu, I'm yeah. just here to occupy my space. Yeah. Talk to us about, you know, when I read your uh, bio, was that, you know, your rap, your raw, vernac hip-hop rapping style yeah, is what yeah. makes you different. What do you think, where is that inspiration coming from? Where does it come it's, from? It's come from, uh, like, the, the, your, your daily days, the cast, like, Klai, Lang, Bukamanda, Batalak, Nam, doing their own stuff. And Mbuanji, the negative stuff and the positive stuff, just try and look for and get something that's going to take people forward, not bringing them back. And learn from the adults, Kubera rights and everything just to be sourced. Now you earned a nomination for the Original Material Awards. Yes. What do you think you did right with the project that earned you the nominations? Uh, uh, they said it sounded like an album, not okay. an LP. So yeah, it was nominated as Best Streets Album Corner. And yeah. I, I think everything, because when I try to do it, I, I don't compare myself to a man who is suing Samenza Hanyi now, where the guys who are unsigned like me. I try and compare myself to those guys, like Pezul, like every day on radio and stuff. I listen to your stuff and show them, it's like, I'm going to beat this one mm. in a short try. Now, um, your LP, why? I see a lot of artists are going the LP route, yes. you know, release an LP instead of a whole album. Why, in you, why did you decide to go the LP route? I mean, I decided from the go. Yes. I'm going to take it step by step. I call it an EP, it's like a mixtape, mm. it's like an LP. Now I'm going to release an album. Talk so, to us about that album. Who are you working with on this album? Uh, you know, what is it going to sound like? So it's going to be a beast. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I started collecting beats and writing. I haven't started recording. So I'm going to work with like... Your, your normal cars, which I, I usually work with, mm -hmm. I, I don't like changing different sounds because it's Tita Band, among the levels, okay, now it's changing. So just like your normal people work with, about Piwi, about Tanken, about Raja, like the main cars from Turban and some cars from this side. And I like to work with some Utwako cars, I like their sound, mm -hmm. it's nice and unique. 
So I'll just try and get Wonko Mundo Sebens and Daonye and just set out a solid album. How soon can we expect the album? Oh, next year. <laughs> All right. Next year, like mid next year. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, La Costa Ration, thank you so much for talking to us. Um, he's our first music guest this morning, speaking to us about his uh, LP titled As I Enter. Stay tuned to Morning Love for two more performances from this Akwazudu uh, Natal born artist who, as real name, is Tebo Lenkosi Minange. Then he'll give us two more performances uh, from him. Uh,